It was a tense moment when an impatient taxi honked its horn. I had to give it a little push, but when FSD saw the pedestrian, it stopped, which felt risky, so I had to push it again. Then it checked the car coming ahead late and hit the brakes. I was solely focused on the destination and almost missed it, which could have been a big issue. Now there's a stopped car ahead, so FSD trying to change to the right lane. Oh, unfortunately, it didn't start moving, so I had to give it a push again. Hello, this is AI Drive Life. Today, we'll be testing autonomous driving in downtown again. The last drive had some rough spots, so let's see what's improved this time. I'm not trying to emphasize Tesla's weaknesses. Instead, I created this video to document the development process while looking forward to advancements in technology. If you're interested in tech development, please subscribe, like, and turn on notifications. Here's a right turn. This area, Michigan Avenue, is one of the busiest and most popular tourist spots in Chicago. The light is green and there are pedestrians. Let's see how FSD handles this busy situation. It made a right turn when there was a brief opening without any pedestrians. Chicago has heavy traffic and foot traffic, so right turns are tricky, but it handled it well this time, showing stable responses in a complex situation. When the car ahead suddenly tried to turn right, FSD quickly switched to the left lane. There was a slight wobble, but it handled the timing well and responded safely. Its flexibility in situations like this is impressive. It tried to change lanes but canceled due to a tricycle in the adjacent lane. Now that it's passed, it's changing lanes. It seems to be preparing for the upcoming right turn. It seems to have moved into the right lane a bit early. FSD is preparing for a right turn. The surroundings are busy and with a police car behind us, it needs to be extra careful. This is a bus stop area, so traffic is a bit congested. We're now waiting for the next right turn with a busy crosswalk. Let's see if FSD can handle this well. Feeling constrained, FSD moved to the left lane and then returned to the right lane. Its quick decision making is impressive. Although the light is green, there are many pedestrians so cars can't make the right turn. If the cars in the opposite lane turn left, we should be able to make a right turn from our lane. It was a tense moment when an impatient taxi honked its horn. I had to give it a little push, but when FSD saw the pedestrian, it stopped, which felt risky, so I had to push it again. When a taxi is honking from behind, it can be tricky to figure out how to respond. Even if the taxi is honking, it might be wiser to let FSD handle the situation. After making a right turn at the light, I'll see the Trump Tower up ahead. The car in front of me has stopped and is signaling right without passing, so I turned on my left signal. I'll keep an eye on the situation to see if I can make a pass. Many cars are coming in the left lane, so we're waiting. FSD was trying to make a left turn, but the car in front moved to the side and went straight. It's a complex setup for the right turn, but hopefully FSD manages it well. Once again, FSD waited for pedestrians and safely made the right turn. Driving in downtown is always tense, but it handled it well. We're almost at our destination. This drive showed a stable performance, so I'm quite satisfied with it. In downtown, you really have to be careful. It's definitely not easy for a novice driver to navigate here. I remember feeling tense and stressed every time I drove in downtown Chicago. It's nice to see autonomous driving technology handle such complex situations well. 
Now we've arrived at our destination. I would give this experience a perfect score of 10 out of 10. Everything was handled smoothly. Although I had to nudge FSD to cancel the automation earlier, overall, it was a positive experience. Now, let's head to our next destination, the Willis Tower, which is the 12th tallest building in the world at 108 stories. The car started smoothly on its own, and despite the complex road conditions, it recognized the pedestrians and stopped appropriately. Now it's time for a left turn. With many pedestrians and vehicles going straight, FSD waited patiently and made the turn safely. The car next to us was uncomfortably close, creating a tense moment, but FSD continued smoothly. I honked out of worry and the other car honked back. Despite the tension, FSD calmly kept moving. It's changing to the right lane to avoid a stopped car. Someone was getting out of that car, but FSD avoided it smoothly. It handled the complicated situation safely. It safely completed the left turn, and with restaurants lined up on both sides, the view is nice. If this were a robo-taxi, we could have stopped for a meal and resumed later. It's great to see these scenes while driving. Now it's a right turn. It was supposed to enter the right lane for the turn, but this time it overshot slightly before making the turn. I wonder if this approach is okay. It, it avoided the bus only lane and chose the left lane. Great decision. FSD's awareness of road conditions and proper response are impressive. It's time for a left turn and we're finally entering the road beneath the railroad tracks. This section isn't easy, so I'm looking forward to seeing how FSD handles it. I'm curious if it can navigate this complex area steadily. Now it's time to make a right turn. I will observe how well it handles the turn even under the railway. It did well this time too. I'm impressed by how much more stable it is compared to last time. The navigation says we've arrived at our destination, but this doesn't seem to be the main entrance. Let's see how FSD handles this situation. A left turn here will get us to the destination. It's a one-way street, so we've almost gone around the entire building. However, FSD braked late for an oncoming car I was focused solely on the destination, so I didn't notice it, which could have been risky. We've arrived at Willis Tower. I'm going to park on the right now. I'd rate this run a nine out of 10. It got too close to the neighboring car and braked late for the oncoming one. However, overall, it showed stable driving and I'm pleased with it. Stay tuned for the next drive. Now we're heading to our last destination, the Fine Arts Building. The roads are quite busy as we approach, and it seems like FSD isn't recognizing the traffic lights correctly, so I'll double check. The right lane here serves both buses and right turns. It didn't enter too early and got into the right lane just in time. Nicely done. FSD seems to be recognizing the road conditions well and responding accordingly. FSD has been doing well so far. However, it needs to make a left turn soon. So why is it switching to the right lane? This feels a bit odd. As things get more complicated, I'm starting to feel uneasy. FSD seems to realize it made a mistake by choosing the right lane and keeps signaling left. 
but cars keep coming, so it can't switch. We need to make a left at the light up ahead. Will it manage it? This is a tense moment. Ah, it didn't make it. FSD seems to be planning to go around the block and come back. I need to pick up my son soon, so I'm a bit worried. I hope the decision-making in such situations improves. It needs to turn right next, so why is it changing lanes? I can't help but think, get it together! It has its right signal on, but still hasn't entered the lane. It's getting late, so I'll take over. We're almost there. A left turn here will bring us to the destination, but although the light turned green, FSD isn't moving forward or turning left. I've been here a few times, and it always seems to struggle. It might be confused by the multiple signals. Let's see how it handles it. Ah, uh, it didn't go, so I had to nudge it. We've reached the destination. I'd rate this drive a 7 out of 10. Thank you for watching this long video. Please subscribe, like, and turn on notifications. It really helps with filming and editing. Thank you.